Hello everyone, welcome to Love Revolution 3.0. Today is day 38 and my name is Ikweobe. Today I would like to share a topic on uh, prophetic love. And most of the time people ask themselves if uh, they being prophetic, right? Some people believe that being prophetic belongs to a certain category of people. Yes, it can be, but also I want you to understand that you can be prophetic whenever you share the thoughts of God, the mind of God, or you share a word of consultation. Because prophecy is about comforting and edifying. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, that we should pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that we may prophesy. So whenever we try to comfort others, we, we are prophesying and the Bible says pursue love. It means that before you come to the art of prophecy, you have to be in love. You have to start from a point of love. And you, you know what? You just don't prophesy, but you prophesy from love. That means that you edify others, you comfort others, so that they can see the goodness of God and the love of God. And prophecy is giving a word to build up, to encourage, to console people. And whenever we prophesy, do you know what we do? We try to let people understand how how deeper is the love of God, how the deep, the height, the length, the breadth of the love of God. So whenever we prophesy, we prophesy from love and to people so that they can recognize who God is. Because prophecy comes to a place where it opens our mind on what God is doing. It's about the mind of God. It's about the love of God. And we have to do this. The Bible says we should do this starting from the of love. It's for us to know how God is deeper, higher, wider, and also more powerful in all things. Let's take, uh, for example, the life of Jeremiah. When God told me in Jeremiah 29, 11, God was telling Jeremiah that the plan that he knew for me was more than what Jeremiah himself could even imagine or think about. It. This is prophesying love. You know, when God comes from a place where he prophesies to you about how he loves you, about the plans he has for you, I want to encourage you to know our action plan is start from a point of love to bring out the prophecy. Whenever you want to edify, whenever you want to build up, to encourage, I want to encourage you to start from love. Not only share the word of God or the mind of God, but share the love of God through prophecy. So I hope you enjoyed this short message and uh, I hope you're enjoying the love revolution. Uh, allow it to build you, allow you to, to edify you because God wants you to understand that his love for you is reckless and he will pursue you until he has found you. God bless you. Remember to share this video and keep following us on this edition of Love Revolution. Thank you.